After numerous leaks and rumors, the AMD Radeon RX 6950 XT has arrived, and accompanied by the Radeon RX 6750 XT and RX 6650 XT. AMD's fastest RX 6950 XT has quicker memory, higher GPU speeds, and a slight increase in power consumption, but can it go head-to-head -head with NVIDIA's fastest and emerging victorious? Is it even worth buying when compared to the RX 6900 XT? If you want to find out, stay tuned. The new Radeon RX 6950X T is a minor refresh in AMD's GPU lineup. Like the 6650XT and 6750XT refreshes, the 6950XT is based on the same die as its original model counterpart, the Navi 21, which was featured in the 6900XT. According to AMD on Twitter, the 6950XT is very efficient, reaching a leading spot better than any card offered by NVIDIA. But is that true, or is it really just PR smoke and mirrors? Well, let's find out. The Radeon RX 6950XT versus the RX 6900XT. The specifications are all that matters with a late gen update like the RX 6950XT. And AMD's offer isn't all that appealing because the RX 6950XT shares many similarities with the already existing 6900XT, at least in terms of graphic performance. It contains the same 16 gigabytes of GDR6 memory, 256 bit memory bus, and an equal number of cores. The clock and memory speeds are different, however, with the 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 increasing the memory bandwidth by at least a significant 12.5%, going from 16 gigabytes to 18 gigabytes. While the increase is commendable, memory bandwidth is really not a significant concern for gamers. Additionally, the RTX 3090's enormous bandwidth, which is provided by the GDDR6X, is a much better choice for constant creation workloads. The RX 6950 XT really even adds only a slight 4.2% increase to the game clock speed. That is slightly more than the maximum boost clock's 4% increase, and if you overclock the graphics card, you can easily get that bump and many third-party RX 6900 XT versions, even matching the stock 6950 XT's clock speed. What this ends up meaning to the consumer, aka you, is that there will be a modest increase in the results of a price point, meaning that it's going to be $100 more, bringing the total suggested retail price of the 6950XT to around $1,100. While that is still comparably less expensive than the 1500 NVIDIA charges for its comparable 3090, this is a sharp price increase over AMD's own 3900 XT. The 3900 XT in particular has seen a return to normal GPU costs, making this situation much, much worse. Several models are currently on sale on Newegg for a lot less than the advertised price of $1,000, and according to Digital Trend Benchmarks, the RX 6950 XT is, well, essentially the same card as the 6900 XT. Between both increased supply and falling prices, the only real reason to make an upgrade to the 6950 XT is because you want to. Even though the RX 6950 XT did not represent the boost that we had hoped for, it's still really a good card, even with a higher power consumption. The wind force cooling technology keeps temperatures low and the branding is clean and understated. Even the Gigabyte logo has RGB lights, which you can control with the RGB Fusion software from Gigabyte. The card's maximum temperature during Furmark stress tests on an outdoor bench was about 67 degrees Celsius. Now, don't get us wrong, that is fantastic, but it's really not enough to pay an extra $100 for it, now is it? The Navi 21 GPU inside the Radeon RX 6900 XT helps to power the Gigabyte RX 6950 XT, but with slightly greater clock speeds for the GPU and that 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. For example, the RX 6900 XT has a base clock of around 1825 MHz and a boost clock speed of 2250. But the 6950 XT has a base memory of 1925 MHz and a boost clock speed of 2325. 
This means that the RX 6950 XT is around 3 to 5% quicker than the 6900 XT model. Regarding memory, the 6950 XT's VRAM is just a tad bit faster than the RX 6900 XT's at 2250 megahertz as opposed to 2000 even. This additional speed might not seem like much given the amount of VRAM and the identical 256-bit memory bus, but it does mean that the card has over 13% more memory bandwidth than the 6900 XT. The 6950 XT comes in at 576 gigabytes versus the 512 gigabytes of the 6900 XT. Both the 6950 XT and the 6900 XT have the same number of steam processors at 5,120, as well as the same number of ray accelerators, 80. The 6950 XT is simply capable of doing more with the hardware than it has, thanks to those slightly higher clock speeds and an additional 35 watts of TGP in comparison to the 6900 XT, which has a difference of about 325 watts to 300. The RX 6950 XT against NVIDIA's best GPUs. The RX 6950 XT gaming OC from Gigabyte does a wonderful job of keeping things cool. The draw of power was even more captivating as the wattage sat at 335 according to AMD. And similar to the base cards, AMD emphasizes its energy efficiency. Plus, there is one other advantage here. The RTX 3090 may reach close to 400 watts, even without overclocking, drawing 350 watts just on its own. The RTX 3090 Ti, on the other hand, may consume a whopping 450 watts, easily consuming more power than any other component that can be installed on a PC. So this shows that AMD's flagship models appear outdated in contrast. Unquestionably, the AMD Radeon RX 6950 XT is the best video card AMD has ever released. Now, while it doesn't quite match the performance of the RX 3090, or in some cases the RTX 3080 Ti, it does still have more than enough power to play the best PC games on ultra settings with some ray tracing and achieve playable, or even enjoyable, 4K gaming with the aid of AMD FSR. The RX 6950 XT performed poorly than the RTX 3090, NVIDIA GeForce's RTX 3080 Ti, and occasionally even the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 in Tech Radar's benchmark tests. However, the 6950 XT's worst flaw is when it came to ray tracing being pushed to the max. Despite this, it is not utterly defeated. Since NVIDIA cards do have more advanced ray tracing cores than AMD's first generation ray accelerators, which was introduced with AMD RDNA 2, NVIDIA's cards are just superior at ray tracing. Rasterization performance on the 6950 XT is still on par, or even better, than that of the RTX 3080 Ti and RTX 3090, with the most recent AMD card performing even against the RTX 3090 Ti and 3D Mark's Fire Strike Ultra Test. Although the NVIDIA RTX cards are undoubtedly the current ray tracing champs, you're not going to always be able to use ray tracing because even on the top tier NVIDIA GPUs, you are still going to be viewing a 4K slideshow without upscaling technologies such as DLSS and FSR, and not all games even have those kind of technologies adapted yet. You'll likely need to rely on rasterization performance as you always have in most of the games that you played over the last couple of years. The technology for ray tracing and upscaling isn't quite there yet for RX 6550 XT cards, but once you've had your fill of ray tracing show and want to play some 4K games at 60 FPS, then the RTX 6090 XT then becomes much more competitive. This is especially true if you're willing to adjust some settings whenever necessary, though not on every single game out there. In content creation tasks, Radeon GPUs always trail GeForce ones and the RTX 6090 XT's increased clock speed as well as marginally increased memory bandwidth really didn't change that stance all that much. The 6950 XT certainly falls short of Nvidia's greatness. In fact, it performed reasonably well with Premiere Pro, but that program is just as taxing on your CPU and RAM as it is on your GPU. The RX 6950 XT is completely destroyed on a benchmark like Blender, which focuses heavily on graphics. 
The rendering options available to the RX 6950 XT are much slower than NVIDIA's CUDA and Optics technologies. Not to mention that the RTX 3090 and 3090 Ti's RAM uses GDDR6X memory, which has a substantially higher maximum capacity than the GDDR6 that the RX 6950 XT supports. As of right now, it's best to remain with NVIDIA if you're serious about GPU-bound content creation activities. So should you even buy an AMD Radeon RX 6950 XT? If you're not really in a rush to purchase a new graphics card, then don't go for AMD's new Radeon RX 6950 XT. AMD DRNA 3 cards are anticipated to launch after this year and may have much more to offer than the current 6950 XT has. Additionally, because it differs slightly from the 6950 XT if you're on a low budget, then you can still get the 6900 XT for almost the same performance at a much cheaper price. And a final recommendation that we just want to throw out there real quick is to avoid the RX 6950 XT if you require a GPU for a purpose other than gaming. The performance here is woefully inadequate for creatives or even researchers doing machine learning, especially given the pricing. So there you have it. That's our take on AMD Radeon's RX 6950 XT. Let us know what you think about the new graphics card in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, or maybe even found it helpful, make sure to get slap that like button and subscribe to the channel, as well as ding on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more content updates from us. Until next time, folks, stay safe and stay informed.